We're going to now talk about creating your first uh, vehicle configuration. So we're going to hit the wrench and we're going to be under the vehicle tab and we're going to go ahead and create a new configuration. So to create a new configuration we want to hit the add button and we're going to add a tillage config. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit tillage. Now anytime you're in the field you're going to have to have some type of configuration. If you have no uh, command systems like direct command or seat command when you're not hooked to a planter you're going to have to run under the tillage mode even if you're doing something besides tillage. Um, so the first thing at one what vehicle we're using. We don't have any vehicles set up, so we need to add a new one. So we hit the Add button. Wants to know the vehicle type. Is it a tractor, an ATV, or a pickup? Well, we're going to do a tractor. Then we're going to hit the Next button. Wants to know the make, so we'll put in Case. All right, and the model. We just added a case vehicle and the model is a 190 Magnum. So it's going to go ahead and put the name as Case IH 190 Magnum. Doesn't have room for the um, but uh, you could go in and change it if you wanted. And we're just going to say Case 190. And we'll go ahead and hit the enter to continue. Now it wants to know our implement. So the first thing we're going to do is put in our tillage implement and I'm going to have a um, turbo chopper. So it asks, is it a rear draw bar or is it rear three point hitch, a front draw bar or a front three point hitch? Well, it's going to be a rear draw bar for the turbo chopper. Now a lot of people wonder why is that important? Well, in America we don't have too many things that hook up to the front, but we have quite a bit that hook up to the three-point and quite and a lot more that hook up to the drawbar. The reason it's important is for that vehicle or that implement modeling when we go and we pull it through the field. A three-point system is going to be attached to the tractor, so anytime the tractor turns, the implement turns right with the tractor. On a drawbar system, it's going to pivot when the tractor turns and it's going to take it much longer to follow the path of the tractor versus a three-point. So it's going to totally model it different and it's going to make a big effect whether we're spraying as to where that herbicide is coming out or if we're tilling as to where the ground is being tilled. So make sure that you choose either implement a rear drawbar or on the three-point. Make sure you choose the proper one. Next it wants to know what is the full swath. Well, my turbo chopper is an 18 foot, so we're going to put in 18 feet. Now it wants to know the distance from the hitch to the area of application. So from the hitch to the area of application, we're going to put in our distance and we're going to say it's 17.5 feet. All right, go to our next step, and our final step, it wants to know the implement name. So we're going to say turbo chopper. And now we'll go ahead and hit finish. It wants to know if we have an implement switch. On this particular model we do not have an implement switch hooked up to it so we're going to say none. It wants to know what our, GP, our, our speed source is. Where our primary is going to be GPS and the backup is radar. And you'll do that for just about everything that you have. So now we have created one tillage configuration and it's for the Case IH-190 pulling the turbo chopper.